All right, guys. So I'm pretty certain that most of you guys uh, watching this video will probably not agree agree with me, especially if you, if you're like a big Anthony Joshua fan, because if you're an Anthony Joshua fan, uh, there's no way you're going to agree with me because you <laughs> saw what Andy Ruiz did to Anthony Joshua in the first fight and. Now, because of that, you think, okay, there's no way that Deontay Wilder could do this against Andy Ruiz Jr. But I'll tell you this. If Deontay Wilder were to face Andy Ruiz Jr., I actually think that's an easy fight for Deontay Wilder. And I'll tell you why. First of all, Andy Ruiz Jr. is a flat-footed heavyweight. Andy Ruiz Jr., is a guy who's like six foot one, six foot two, right? He is a guy who's a counter puncher, right? You want to know what a counter puncher does? A counter puncher waits for a guy to approach him, get near him, so that he could counter the guy, right? So what a counter puncher needs is he needs you to be in his uh basically lane, right? He needs you to approach him. Right, Juan Memo Marquez. When he had dudes uh, being aggressive towards him, he looked amazing. But when he had a guy like Mayweather, not approach him like that. Fight on the outside. He looked like shit, didn't he? Did he not? Right. Andy Ruiz is the same type of fighter, right? Andy Ruiz Jr. looks good when a guy's going after him because he is able to show you his counter punches skills, right? But when he is forced to be the aggressor, when a guy is not going after him, when, the, when a guy is using his legs and moving around and grooving, that's when you see the weakness in Andy Ruiz Jr. He is not a guy who is good at cutting off the ring and walking an opponent down the way Gennady Golovkin or Mike Tyson would do in their primes, right? He's a guy who prefers you to go after him so he could let his punches go. This is why in the rematch against Anthony Joshua, he looked terrible. You saw the rematch. In the rematch, Andy Ruiz Jr. looked terrible. He, I think he lost every... I, I, I don't think he won a single round. The reason he didn't win a single round is because Anthony Joshua was on the back foot the majority of that fight. And Andy Ruiz Jr., like I said, because he's not a guy who cuts off the ring and because he's not a guy who likes fighting coming forward and, and walking you down, he does terrible against a style like that, right? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, well, well wait a minute. Deontay Wilder can't do that. Deontay Wilder can't outbox Andy Ruiz Jr. Are you sure about that? Deontay Wilder is a six foot seven heavyweight, and he has an 80-inch, 80-inch, uh, no, an 83-inch reach, Andy Ruiz Jr. is a six foot one, six foot two heavyweight. He has, I believe, a seventy six or seventy eight inch reach, which means Deontay Wilder has the 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 height and the reach advantage over Andy Ruiz Jr. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I saw Deontay Wilder outbox two people: a uh, Bermain Stavern and B Johan Duapas. Deontay Wilder used his legs in the Johan Duopas and the Burmese to Burn fight, the first fight. He was moving. He was grooving. He was using his jab. He was not allowing uh, Burmese to Burn. He was not fighting Burmese to Burn toe-to-toe. -to -toe. If Deontay Wilder used that same approach that he fought Burmese to Burn in the first fight against Andy Ruiz Jr., I'm telling you right now, if he would give Andy Ruiz Jr. hell. It would be a nightmare. He would be winning rounds. You would be telling yourself, damn, Deontay Wilder's outboxing Andy Ruiz Jr. Because Deontay Wilder, because Andy Ruiz Jr. is not a guy that cuts off the ring. I can easily see Deontay Wilder using his legs and fighting the way he fought Burmain Stiver in the first fight and outboxing Andy Ruiz Jr. And then eventually pro pro probably catching him with the right hand, hurting him, and then going after him and finishing him, him off. But I personally believe that Deontay Wilder is capable of beating Andy Ruiz Jr. with ease if he fights a disciplined fight the way he did Bermain Stavern, in my personal opinion.